Good morning. This is YouTube Rumble update film for the part two of February fifth, two thousand thirteen, for the COVID nineteen shit for over for anti social media. We recently heard that Elon Musk bought Twitter. Big deal. So he buys Twitter and claims to be a advocate of democracy, but yet his he asks his followers, "What can do? What can we do to reinstate to uh, make Twitter better?" So a lot of the people say, "Reinstate, reinstate Alex Jones." I'm a huge advocate of Alex Jones because he's uncensored media. But guess what he does? He says no. So in what area is he an advocate of democracy if he doesn't reinstate Alex Jones? Alex Jones, for those of you who don't know, he's an advocate of the facts and uncensored media. Now, Alex Jones, if you don't know, he has been cut off from the government, by the government, over nine times because the government doesn't want you to know the facts, neither does the mainstream media. Me, I am sort of, for those of you who don't know, if I haven't explained myself, politically speaking, I am no party, okay? Now those, now a lot of you may misinterpret it, reinterpret it. I'm a publicly self-confessed, gracefully protesting anti-American, against the corrupt government and, a, and against idiots. Unfortunately, the U.S. is made up of 75% idiot, but I have nothing against the minority of the good people. I am pro-European because the majority of them are educated and street smart. The minority, yeah, they have, they have their liberals, they have their idiots. But I'm willing to admit every nationality has its idiots. I'm an advocate of the Chinese and Japanese. They themselves have the idiots, but they're the minority. Europe has its majority of the good people, but unfortunately the U.S. has, minor, has, its, minor, uh, has its majority of the idiots. Now, Elon claims that he's for democracy, but yet he is against reinstating Alex Jones, which means in the fine print, Elon is another idiot. He claims to be educated, but yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to work with the government because he's an advocate of artificial intelligence. Now, the media is claiming that they are an advocate of the facts. They condemn the media for being censored. Meantime, the media is censored. CNN, the Communistic National Network, is a compulsive liar. MSNBC, the Muslim Socialistic National Bureaucratic Channel, is a compulsive liar. MSNBC, and NBC, the National Bureaucratic Channel, is a compulsive liar. Now, the media, social media itself is nothing but arguments, which is the reason why I haven't gone on there in 15 years. In what way is Elon an advocate of democracy when he himself owns a business that is made up of fake information. Big deal, the guy has $300 billion. In what way do you claim to be a progressive when you will not let Alex Jones on? Now, those of you, again, who do not know Alex Jones in, go on Infowars.com, and on the middle right, go on his film camera, and you can see who he is, give him a week, and you'll know why Elon does not want to reinstate him, because Elon does not want to advocate the facts. Alex Jones advocates the facts, because he, he everything he says 93% of it is proven. Now you may ask, okay, well, what about the other 5%? 98%, which is sometimes debatable. I can say it's debatable. 
And of course, the other two, you, he says on his on his own insurance policy. Look it up if you don't believe me. If you're not taking me seriously, look it up. He doesn't mind it. Now, social media itself. I'm growing into the gray area of progressive communism. Now, those of you who don't understand what I mean by progressive communism, meaning I'm using communism against the government. Okay? That you're using, basically using an edge similar to Adolf Hitler to create progress. The only course of assass the only course of some US politician uh, resigning is assassination because they can't collect their income. So you pretty much can guess where the communistic progressive communism in office is. You're assassinating any US politician who does not want to aid the good people in progression. That's basically what progressive communism is. You're putting communism against the government and using death as a cause of consequence for any U.S. politician who does not want to do what the U.S. with the progressive people want need, and need. So yeah, you can take any politician, any corrupt politician like Cruz, who laughs at anyone for the sake of wanting to and look, so for the sake of wanting to make any progressive person look nuts. He claims he wants what's right for the people, but he really doesn't. Hence why he goes down to the border, southern border, which is what you heard of for the past three years, of all the fucking illegals who come up to the southern border to create terrorism. He claims he wants to shut the border off, but all he does is go down and pose for interviews and acts like he wants to create progression while arguing with the border patrol. You take someone like him and Biden, resign if you don't like what's going on for the sake of the people, or I kill you. He's a terrorist. Keep on going and I'll shoot you. Hold on. Let's talk about this. Enough talk or I'll shoot you. But I boom. Guy's gone. He doesn't collect any income. No, of course, according to some that may be slightly barbaric. Put that in the hands of someone who says, thank you for eliminating the problem. Now we don't have to hear his shit anymore. Do that with Biden and you'll eliminate the COVID-19 shit. You'll eliminate Cortez because she'll be shot too. Because she, all she is is a liberal who threw a temper tantrum for the sake of what she wants. You throw out the Constitution, the liberals can't go into the media and spread their mental disorder. So if you're going to advocate democracy, uncensor social media so we can get somewhere. Don't act like you're going to sit there and say, what can we do to make Twitter better? And then not advocate Alex Jones being reinstated because you just do your whole argument out the window. He, Al, uh, Elon Musk is also an advocate of artificial intelligence. Now, according to social media, you're advocating the act of fake information, and he's also advocating the act of artificial intelligence robots taking control of the economy. Now, if you're claiming to be an advocate of democracy, in what fucking way are you an advocate of democracy if you're going to eliminate the physical act of the of the economy by eliminating physical employment, which means you're destroying the economy? <laughs> but the fuck does this guy care? He's got three hundred billion dollars, and he's destroying what could be what is progressive. Hello. <laughs> And we know that Elon Musk isn't in on it with Bill Gates, Fauci, and Schwab. Those of you who don't know what Schwab is, watch InfoWars on Alex Jones, and you know who Schwab is. Schwab is a totalitarian, which is worse than true communism. Not progressive communism, the actual form of communism. China itself is a progressive country, but unfortunately, Xi Jinping, from what I saw proof of, 
is a true communist, Xi Jinping wants control. He does not advocate democracy. So now, stay tuned for the my next Rumble YouTube film update for politics and social media. Go to my website. I'll have all my uncensored uh, things there in case I get kicked off here. I'll see you guys later.